about self-determination. It's about empowerment. When a mother feels trusted, respected, listened to, she thrives. Can I check the baby? Yeah, can I? All right. Somebody's, look at this. This is ridiculous. Somebody's foot right here. You want to feel? Come on in. Yes, please. Come feel. Come feel. Let me get you a stool because you're little. Here. I'm going to get you up on here. You good? All right, feel that there. You feel the baby's foot? Feel the baby? Less than 10% of births are delivered by midwives in the United States. So we're a long way from being where we need to be, but we must bring midwifery back. Every other country in the entire rest of the world uses midwives as the providers for normal, healthy pregnancies and births. You know, people are usually feel like it's more taboo to have birth in a birthing center than in a hospital. Um, but for me, I never really had that feeling. I felt way more comfortable um, thinking about a birth center. Honestly, my husband had worked in a baby hospital for seven or eight years, and he was not impressed with the things that he saw. He felt like a lot of women were being kind of coerced into C-sections, um, and they weren't given time to labor. And I know with the midwives, they give you time. They kind of let your body do, your do what you have to do. So that's really the main reason why I did it. So and we call this the yellow room, obviously, but it's basically because it's so bright. And you see how the sunlight comes in? So we've got that. Real ambiance of bright and light, fresh. Midwives can improve outcomes simply by doing what midwives do. We center the mother, baby, the family. We center the community. We make it our business to make sure we are providing respectful care, that we maintain that dignity. And in doing so, we are much more able to get information that we need. Um, the people that are under that care are more compliant. The education that we share is more received. So let's talk about pregnancy guidelines and requirements. Um, let's talk about this food avoidance list, because I know you guys see them, and and I, we hear about like hot candy, like eating hot candy. Until we grow and diversify this midwifery workforce, we won't see the results that we're looking for. I believe midwifery chose me. I organically grew into a doula. Um, as I was having my children, people would ask me, can you come to my birth? You know, you're doing this natural birth thing. And um, I would feel more comfortable if you were here. So after attending births and hearing the mother's cries for help, witnessing the maternal injustice that happens um, to women here in America. I just felt like God was really tugging on my heart to answer this call, so. For me, status quo is not acceptable. These statistics are not acceptable. These outcomes are horrendous and shocking, egregious. We, we know what works, we know how easy it is, in fact, how cost effective it is to put in place. So that's what drives me, that's what drives us all. We want to see these disparities gone. We want to see all families having access to quality, safe care, and we want to make sure that all families thrive. Mm -hmm.